what happened. Where's the girl? She, she got away, Mr. Rankin. Laney's out tracking You blasted fool. Laney will catch us. I'll be at Francine's club. And if Laney brings her back, this time hold her. That's the border. Yes, sir. Now, a little more right here. Obadiah sent this down with your Pawnee Indian. Thought you might like a change. That was very thoughtful. That's fine. Thank you very much. Well, figure uh, your five days is up in about ten minutes, huh? Well, now, it's been a very pleasant stay, friend Jailer. And I'm very sorry that I won your week's pay. Just what the devil's going on here? Just who the devil are you and what do you want? Be careful, friend Jailer. This is Mr. Colton. Hmm? Well, that means nothing to me. Mr. John Colton just happens to be the administrator of New Orleans. I hope that means something to you. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Do you always leave the cell doors open for your guests? No, sir, but you see, Mr. Derringer, well, it just happens that I'm a model prisoner, and it's quite unlikely I would attempt to escape ten minutes before my sentence is up. Out, turnkey. Goodbye, friend jailer. Well, don't say goodbye, Yancey. See you again real soon. Oh, would you get my shirt? If you'd be so kind. Thank you. Yancey, when you agreed to become my underground agent, we said that you would do anything to uphold law and order, not go shooting down chandeliers in the charter house. Just having a little fun. Paid for the chandelier. Did you have to embarrass me and get caught? How did I know it would fall on a chief of police? It's very difficult. Yancey, if anyone were to know that you and I had a secret arrangement, why... Nobody does. What's on your mind? I want you to keep your ear to the ground concerning the waterfront, particularly a ship named the William Brown. What about it? I don't know. Just a hunch. Her manifest is cleared. Quarantine gave her a clean bill of health. Yet I have a suspicion. Smuggling? Possibly. If so, we need some real evidence. Well, if I find anything, it'll be over cards at Madame Francine's club, because that's the only place that I'm going tonight. My tie, please. Your servant, sir. Hey, you! Get back here! Put me down. In a moment, madam. I'll thank you to keep a civil tongue in her head. It's not madam, it's miss. I'm not mad yet, Puss. Look, now put me down. All right, miss. Oh! I'm Yancey Derringer, miss. Uh... That's none of your affair, since we've had no formal introduction. Saints, but this one is a living fright. I'd thank him for saving me if I could look at him without the chills. Who is himself? Well, his name is Pahu. The meaning of which is what? It means wolf. Preserve us. I've heard about his kind as far away as Dublin. He's one of those scalping aborigines that run around half naked, lifting the hair off decent people. He's a wild Indian. Well, not anymore. He's housebroken. Well, I'll take my bonnet and be gratefully leaving your company. Uh, are you in trouble? No, but I might get to be hanging about the streets with the likes of you. Good night.
Five card stud, gentlemen. Four of clubs, card of poverty. Diamond ten, card of wealth. King of hearts, as usual. Thank you. Twenty dollars. Court. His gray head majesty, the king of clubs. The embroidered king who shows but half his face, the king of diamonds. Juice of clubs. Fixation card. Smallest pot. I beg your pardon, but are you telling fortunes or dealing a hand? But the cards have a message. She's merely translating. Fifty dollars. Call. Nine of spades, card of misfortune. Jack of diamonds, the cutthroat card. Nothing personal. The chief in years, his majesty of spades appears. Kings are finished. What's the message? Hundred dollars. Two hundred. Three hundred. <laughs> You're bluffing, but I'll call. The juice of diamonds making your hand all pink. Card of warning. For you, perhaps, and you certainly need one. The juice of spades, card of discretion. You'd better be discreet with just two pair. Bet. Five hundred. It's impossible for you to have another king. You'd never stay with a deuce in the hole. Only a fool would do that. Call. Pink flush. Ace high. A fool there was. A very full house. That's idiotic. He stayed with a miserable deuce in the hole. His of hearts is far from miserable. It's a success card. You seem to know these cards very well, Mr. Derringer. They're my friends. Maybe you have a few too many friends at this table. That's all. Drop the gun. Well, I'd make him apologize, Francie, but since he's no gentleman, it really wouldn't make any difference. That's enough trouble for one evening. May I buy you a drink, Francie? Please do. Francie, you've been worried all evening. What's so important about the time? I'm worried about my cousin. She should have been here by now. Cousin? Didn't even know you had one. She just arrived in New Orleans from Ireland. Come to find herself a husband. Ireland? And all this time I thought you were straight from Paris with that fancy name of Francine. The ship docked this afternoon. There's still no sign of her. Yancey, would you go find her for me? Her name is Bridget Malone. Bridget Malone? I think I've already met her. Only she was off of the ship. I don't understand. Well, now, don't you worry your pretty shamrock head. I'll find her. You, sir? Good evening. We're looking for one of your passengers. Well, there's nobody aboard the ship, sir. All the passengers disembarked this afternoon. Oh. You recall a young lady, Miss Bridget Malone? I can't rightly say, sir. I was more in charge of the cargo. What is your cargo? It's a variety of things, sir. We've been halfway around the world. Thank you. He jumped ship again. The little tomcat crowned me with a marlin spike. Laney, you're a fool. Rankin will have our necks. It was in the turn of my back. It was that quick. Well, you better find her. And this time, we'll drop her in the Mississippi. Now, go on. All right, you men, let's move that stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, is there no other way to meet you? But you're always in such a hurry. Hey, Bridget, wait a minute. Hey, you... Oh, you come on oh, back to this ship. I won't go back. I won't. Oh, I don't want to go free. 
up. Now, you... Yes, and I won't. Yes, you are. You, you stay out of this. Oh, but I'm already in. Now, Bridget, we can't keep this up all night. Your cousin sent me to get you. Cousin Nora? Nora? <laughs> oh, that's too much. She has to go back to the ship. She hasn't cleared customs. They hid me when the customs man came aboard. They wouldn't let me be cleared. Her papers aren't in order. I'll take care of her. All right. Oh. Now, Bridget, tell me what this is all about. Why don't they want you off of that ship? Oh, they claim I owe them more money for passage or something like that. They were going to send me back. But I won't go back to Ireland without a spouse. Oh. Well, I can't be as simple as that. Your cousin could have handled it. Is it a bold-faced liar you're calling me? Oh, not bold-faced. You're a fine figure of a man, though a bold one. Are you married? No. Why not? Just lucky, I guess. I suppose you've got a girl. A beautiful girl, faithful and wise. Does anyone? Oh, I know such a girl is very hard to find. But you might just happen to run into one. Much in the same fashion as I, I ran into, into you. say? Deep flesh wound, side of the hip. It's mostly shock. She'll be coming around soon. On the deck. See it. See it. The rats, the rats and rats. No, don't. 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 Dancing rats? She's just delirious. Poor Bridget. That bullet was meant for you. You're wrong. She was a completely clear target. Whoever fired at her meant to kill her. That's not possible. No one in New Orleans even knows her. Everyone aboard the William Brown knows her. You think something happened aboard the ship? Well, one thing did. A rat danced. I'm glad Pa who found you. Found me? He scared me half to death. Doesn't he ever make any noise? What have you learned? In the captain's log, three out of four passengers and ten of the crew, including the captain, were lost in the Atlantic crossing. The seasick, no doubt. The log calls it hurricane. This isn't hurricane season. Exactly. What's their cargo? Chinese silk. First big shipment since the war, a quarter of a million dollars worth. Mr. Colton, I got a feeling, a very bad feeling. I want you to impound the cargo. Have the ship towed to the middle of the river and anchored there. I'd like to do what you say, Yancey, but legally I can't. Now, if there was some shred of evidence. All right. I'll get you the evidence. It's all right, Bridget. You're home now. Cousin Nora. Why, you're even more beautiful than they told me you'd be. I see the Aborigine. But where's the bachelor? He'll be back. Is he a friend of yours, Cousin Nora? Bridget, any beautiful woman who's alive in a New Orleans... It's a friend of Mr. Derringer's. I was afraid of that. Come in. Well, hello, Bridget. I've been such a lot of trouble to you, Mr. Derringer. 
Oh, but the trouble isn't finished. Unless you tell me what happened aboard the William Brown. Oh, nothing happened. It was a delightful crossing. Thirteen people lost at sea. Must have been fun. Well, a few did have to be buried at sea. Buried at sea? Or lost in the storm? What did the report say? What do you say? Oh, I'm feeling so faint. It's coming over me, all peculiar. What did you mean when you said dancing rats? The dancing rats? Well, it's like the little folk, the leprechauns. Oh, surely you know what the leprechauns are. Bridget, you were in the presence of the only three leprechauns in all of New Orleans. None of us believe you. Now, you tell me the truth. Keep working on her, Francine. It's very important. I'll be back. Good evening, Mr. Colton. Yancey. The owner of the William Brown arrived in New Orleans yesterday. He's at the King Louis. I want you to see him. Why me? Principally because he won't see me. His name is Barrett Rankin. Good night, Mr. Colton. Mr. Rankin. Oh, Mr. Derringer. I might have expected you. Well, no, I expected that you might have expected me. Yes, it uh, was in the cards. Jack of spades kept turning up. The inquisitive card in a death suit. Yes, well, if it keeps turning up, Mr. Derringer, you're going to make a long sea voyage without a boat. Oh. What are you after? truth? I'm afraid that's going to be rather hard to find. Oh, I'll find it very soon, from Bridget. Remember her, the little Irish girl? Who is she? Queen of Hearts, the Jack of Spades found her. She's going to live, and as soon as she's well enough to talk, I think you'd better take your hand out of your pocket. Oh, what happened, run into a shotgun? This, I believe, is yours. Empty, of course. Well, the next time we meet, Mr. Derringer, it won't be. Come calling, friend. Just a decoy to get us away from Bridget. What do you mean? Stay over in the corner. Lock the door. I'll take care of her. You used her as live bait. I had to. I had to make sure it was she they were really after, not me. Bridget? Bridget, are you all right? Yes. Now, I want you to tell me what happened on that ship. And I warn you, none of your leprechaun talk. It was the rats. They were dancing little jigs. The rats were dancing, actually dancing. Every night. They were burying people at sea. And every night, the rats would come up on deck and do a little dance and die themselves. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because they said they'd send me back to Ireland. Dancing rats. What does it mean? Well, I remember back in 48. My daddy came home and he told me, beware of the dancing rats. And I'm trying to remember what... was plague. 
bubonic plague. What is it? What have you learned? It's plague. Plague, Mr. Colton. By morning, the city could become a pest hole. I'm going to burn that silk. Plague. I can't authorize it, but burn it! Hey. Drop it. have to meet you this way, Miss Malone. Don't be shaming me with the word miss. A grown woman of my own age. There's nothing to be ashamed of. A lot of people aren't married. Look at me. I have been. You're a lucky girl just to be alive, Bridget. Of course I am. All those people dying all around me. I knew I was being safe for something important. I came to America to find a husband. Maybe it was the fates. It's a beautiful thought, Bridget. And I can't say that I'm not a little bit in love with you. You can't? No. But I also happen to be a little bit in love with your cousin Nora. I mean, Madame Francine. Bridget, the trouble with Mr. Derringer is that he's a little bit in love with every beautiful woman he meets. Well, you'll not be getting rid of me that easily. Believe me. Oh, I believe you. Good night, Bridget.